Is it actually possible to turn a messy napkin sketch into a fully furnished high-end visualization without opening a single 3D software? Today, we prove that it is. We are building the ultimate workflow from sketch to CAD to 3D floor plan, all the way to the final client delivery. In part one, we saw the basics. Today, we master the workflow. Let's dive in. Before we start, a quick note on the tools. You can use the Gemini chat. Just select Thinking with 3 Pro and Create Image. You can use Google AI Studio, where you link your API key and get more control over quality and aspect ratio. Or, for the more technical users, you can even use Vertex AI via Google Cloud, selecting the Gemini 3 Pro Image Preview. However, for this video, I will be working with a custom tool I built myself. It's a node-based application that gives me a much better overview of my inputs and outputs compared to a simple chat interface. But don't worry, the prompts and the logic are exactly the same, no matter which interface you use. All the prompts are uploaded, copy ready on our community Discord. The link is in the description. Step one, the cleanup. Clients often send messy hand sketches. We need a professional base to work with. We upload the rough sketch and ask Nano Banana to transform it into a precision CAD drawing. One huge advantage of my node tool here, I can assign a specific tag to every input image and then simply reference that tag directly in my prompt. Look at that. It straightened the lines, defined the walls, and kept the fixed installations like the kitchen and bath perfectly. Now we have a clean architectural shell to build upon. Step two, the layout. An empty floor plan is boring and hard for clients to understand scale. I am using two inputs. I take the clean CAD drawing we just generated and assign it the tag floor plan. Then I take the original sketch file and assign it the tag rooms. This acts as a layout reference so the AI truly understands the intended function of every space. Now, I write the prompt referencing both tags to combine the clean lines of the CAD with the context of the sketch. The AI understands spatial logic surprisingly well. It placed the sofa, the bedroom furniture, and the kitchen in a way that actually makes sense for the flow of the rooms. We can take this generated furnished plan and use style references to instantly adapt the visual design. With the right prompt, we can transform the look of the floor plan in seconds. I tried three different style options here, from a hand-drawn watercolor look to a sleek minimalist vector style. And honestly, all three turned out almost perfectly usable for marketing brochures or client presentations right out of the box. Step three, realistic top-down view. Problem is that 2D is flat. We need to communicate materials and warmth. We convert the 2D plan into a photorealistic top-down 3D run. In my tool, I add these texture images as inputs and tag them. Let's call them flooring and tiles. Then in the prompt, I simply reference these tags to tell the AI exactly where to apply which material. Now we have specific textures. The wood flooring in the living areas, the tiles in the wet zones, and realistic lighting casting soft shadows. This already looks like a marketing asset you could sell, and the workflow remains flexible. You can even expand on this after the initial generation. For example, let's say we decide we want a special wood decking just for the balcony. I simply add that texture reference, update the prompt, and it blends it in perfectly. On top of that, you can take this 3D result and adjust the lighting or mood using just text prompts. This makes it possible to generate unlimited style options for your floor plans in seconds. Step four, the isometric cutaway. We need to show verticality, the height of walls and windows. We force a 45 degree isometric angle. I am taking the furnished two-dimensional floor plan we generated earlier as my input image. In the prompt, I reference its tag to ensure the AI uses the exact layout. However, I have to be honest here. Since my last video, Google seems to be struggling with the massive demand for Nano Banana Pro. The model feels different. For this specific step, going from a flat floor plan to an isometric projection, 
I had to regenerate many times just to get this one result. The model really struggled to understand the perspective shift compared to how well it performed just a few days ago. In the end, it worked, and the result is fantastic. This 3D isometric view is perfect for showing the client the full layout at a glance. It's clean, modern, and explains the space perfectly. I tried a few more times to get different variations, but had no luck. I really hope Google scales up their capacity soon, because when it works, it's absolute magic. Step five, generate perspectives. Now we need the money shot. We need to stand inside the room. We ask the AI to cognitively process the floor plan data and place a virtual camera at eye level. But here's the reality check. As I mentioned earlier, the model's capabilities seem to be heavily throttled right now. Because of this, generating these perspective views was a huge struggle. Despite using detailed, strict prompts, the AI repeatedly failed to stick to the floor plan layout. However, after many attempts, I finally got it working and generated this raw render. The furniture looks a bit generic. So let's fix that in step six. Change furniture. The architecture is correct, but the interior design is boring. We use specific reference images to swap out the furniture without changing the room geometry. Let's try our first style. I have prepared some reference images of specific furniture pieces. With my tool, I don't need to write complex descriptions. I simply tag the images, like couch or chair, and use those tags directly in the prompt. It kept the room exactly as it was, but swapped the furniture to match our references. Actually, let's look closer. In the first run, the chair wasn't quite right, so I just ran it one more time. Okay, now it's exactly as we wanted it to be, perfect. The massive advantage of my node-based system is that I don't have to rewrite the whole prompt. I just swap out the input images in the nodes for a tan leather sofa and a Sputnik lamp. Look at the difference. Same room, same lighting, completely different vibe. And we can go even further. We can take these perspective renders and add specific details into them. I wanna place some art prints above the couch and swap the generic plant for a specific one I have a photo of. Look at that, it's working perfectly. The art is aligned and the plant is replaced. Generating views. We established our style and furniture, but a single angle isn't enough. We need to see the rest of the room. But here's the reality check again. Just like with the isometric view, generating these specific alternate angles took way longer than expected. The consistency isn't quite where it was at launch. It's still possible, but be prepared to hit generate a few more times until you get a usable result. Actually, I had to use a little workaround here. To get these specific results, I had to switch over to the standard Gemini chat with a completely fresh Google account. It seems like fresh accounts might get slightly better priority or performance right now. But once I did that, the results were actually very nice. At the same time, I also tried generating frontal views to get a clean overview of the whole room. As you can imagine, the current state of Nano Banana Pro made this very hard too. In the end, I was able to generate good results, but I had to use some specific tricks in the prompting to force the AI to align the camera correctly. Lighting moods. How does the space feel at night or in different seasons? We change the time of day with a single prompt. We take our preferred perspective view and simply describe the wanted scene and lighting with a text prompt. First, let's try a golden hour look. Looking at the first result, the effect is a bit too heavy for my taste, and for some reason, the background buildings have been removed. So, let's run it again. Okay, this second attempt looks great. I really like this one. Now let's try a cozy night mood with warm interior lighting and the TV turned on. That looks really good too. And finally, let's try something different. A rainy, gray day. Wow, that looks awesome. Even the raindrops on the windows look realistic. I will definitely take that. Exploded diagram. We want a creative way to present the project and give a clear overview of all the furniture pieces at once. We use our finished perspective view as an input and ask the AI to deconstruct it into an exploded diagram. The results were all right. It's not a precise engineering drawing, 
but for a stylistic presentation slide to show the volume and the individual furniture components of the room, it is definitely a cool addition to your project board. And that's it for today. Let's hope Google fixes the performance soon, but until then, keep experimenting. Thanks for watching.